Hi everyone. Um, some of you might remember I have been working on a project called Neocortex, which um, was the evolution of my videos that I made on how to make smart NPCs in Unity. And from the demand of the people in the comments and uh, people asking me, sending me emails, I decided to turn it into a uh, product and simplify the process even more so people wouldn't have uh, much complexity when integrating uh, smart NPCs, smart characters in their games and, uh, you know, uh, in their applications as virtual assistants too. So um, I've been working on this project uh, more than one and a half year on and off and past couple of weeks I tried to give it a push and brought it to a level that I can already make it public and release. So I want to show you what Neocortex is, what it does, and I'll show you how its Unity SDK works. Uh, fingers crossed, I hope I can make this video single take and finish it quickly because uh, in, in an hour I really want to already announce this. So let's go. I'll just uh, turn off my camera and let's come to the screen here. So uh, this is the website. It's called neocortex.link and you will be able to see some basic information about what it can help you with. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, hang out there and I'll directly go and log in. You can click on start here button. Uh, you can either log in with your Google or GitHub account or create an account for yourself. I'm gonna use Google and I'll pick my email address and start it. So I already created a project for myself, so it is already here. This is where you land in when you first come. And you can create API keys to use, and you can see how many credits you have and the uh, purchase store you have. And you can also see what, what kind of plan you have, and uh, you can access to frequently asked questions about payments and how the credits are used. So I will go to my test project and show you what I have here. So um, this is a basic project I created. Uh, the Neocortex is a node-based system. It makes it easier for you to create characters without typing a lot of text to create backgrounds of the characters and everything. And the good thing is it keeps everything in context. Your agents do not get out of the knowledge that you provided. If there is anything, it is out of their uh, knowledge context it will just say it doesn't know about that and it doesn't have that knowledge, so that makes it easier. And most important feature is that uh, it can actually uh, produce actions uh, either depending on the attached objects or the list of intents you give. So when you say certain things in a certain form, not exact sentence, but if it intends, if it means the same thing, uh, these actions will be called and you will be actually able to uh, get an action which in your game engine, you can capture this and, you know, uh, play uh, animation, call a state, um, call an action, change the state of the character, change the state of the game. This is completely up to you. And also uh, you can easily test this here. Uh, there's a chat interface, so you can t test how it would work with, um, uh, with these nodes that you created. And it's kind of real time. So what, whatever change you make here will directly reflect here too. So, um, I'll going to, I'm just going to create a new project because uh, that already had something so I can show you how to create nodes and everything. Let's call this unity test. And it's directly going to drop me into a node based project, which has a result node, an agent node and a world node. So um, I'll quickly go and call this Sarge an engineer. And let's say world is um, Tallinn, Estonia. So the amount of uh, information I provided is really little. So I don't really expect this agent to, you know, tell me much about uh, what is going on here because this is the all everything it has. But still, I can just um, talk to it and I'll say hi. And it gets back to me. Hello there. How can I assist you today in Tallinn, Estonia? Because it knows it's in Tallinn, Estonia. It gives me that answer. And if I ask, uh, who are you? It is going to tell me that I'm Sarge, I'm an engineer to assist you here. So the more context you provide, it gets out of that I want to assist you kind of um, uh, notion and tells you more. So I can add here that um, I'm an engineer, I do this, I do that, you know, like a more detailed description about this character and the world might have more details to it. And um, I can give a 
so I can right click on this place, uh, entire uh, view and add nodes. So I can add a personality node. The nodes are directly attached to the same named uh, hooks they have. So I can make this an extrovert, very strong, and I can give it an accent as well. So let's say uh, it has American accent, uh, which I don't, but uh, yeah, uh, and it's also very strong. So this kind of notions also will add small changes in how they reply to you. Uh, what I like the most is actually, for example, when you add Scottish, Irish, Australian accent, you can see the details even more and it makes it uh, even funnier. Uh, what do you think about the uh, engineering of the world? world today quite a strange question but let's go with this so it tells me engineering today is dynamic innovative constantly evolving with technology like quite generic because it doesn't have much information um so this is pretty much how it goes and i'm planning to add more nodes but let's go to the more most juicy part i'm going to add an object here and i'm going to attach this to the result uh certain nodes might have multiple um uh, inputs, uh, object is one of them, world, agent, personality, accent, they take only one. Uh, it's not really um, displayed in the UI itself, but um, you can figure out when you try it. I'll try to make this more clear uh, when I also add a documentation to the project as well, because there is no documentation at the moment. This video is going to be the documentation in a way. So um, let's call this object, um, let's say um, a key to the server room. All right. So um, there's an object which is a key to the server room. I describe that object and I will add an action to it. Um, this action is going to be called give a key. And it's going to turn into capital and all the gaps underscore automatically. So it would be easier to read as a, as a variable like that. And later I'm going to add some intents to it. So right now, every time I mention um, the server room, it should call the action of um, giving the key. So I'll just say, um, how can I get into the server room? So uh, it actually didn't give it to me directly. This is the cool part of it. It's a bit more variable. You need a key to uh, access to the server room. Want it? I do. And here, take the key to the server room and it calls the give key action. This is really cool. And I can, so this is going to work only if ever I talk about the server room, but I want to make it more flexible or maybe even add, you know, like um, Easter egg-ish uh, things to it. So when I say different things, it might also uh, call that. So I can give a set of uh, sample sentences to uh, mean that if the user says things like this, also call this action. So let's say, uh, you know, like, what is that room? That room back there. And I can say, um, such a nice weather today. Okay, I know this is completely irrelevant, but this is, this is the reason that um, it should uh, capture the meaning of this and run the action according to it. So I'll say, um, the room behind you, what's in there? That's the server room back there and gives me the key because the intent was close to it. And if I say, I love the weather today. So nice. So I'm not uh, establishing the exactly same sentences to show you that uh, meaning is important, not the word by word, um, you know, uh, selection of the things. If I send this, so it tells me it's a beautiful day. Um, weather is nice too. So it didn't exactly get there. But if I say, Such a nice, nice weather today. 
All right, yeah. So it took it a while to get there. Yeah, I need to stabilize some of the things still. Uh, it required it to be quite close to the second one. These, uh, usually it gets it. I have different tests about um, uh, certain demos. Well, this is the magic of doing live demos in a way. So I'll go with this. And okay, I'm kind of satisfied with this demo and I want to get this into Unity right now. So um, I have an empty Unity project here. I just started this, uh, there's nothing in there. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to a GitHub account of Neocortex and uh, install the SDK. You can see all the details about this in the uh, readme file as well. And I'm gonna drop a URL to the repository in the video. I'm gonna copy the um, URL of this uh, repository. I'll go to Unity. I'll go to Package Manager. Let me bring it here. Uh, click on the plus icon, add package from Git URL, paste it, click on add button and wait for it to install. Right now I have um, two uh, samples in the package, one for text to text uh, conversation and one for audio to audio conversation. So Unity also covers audio conversations. Unlike a uh, web platform does not have that yet. Uh, I removed that feature. There was like a couple of bugs in it and decided to uh, release it without that just yet, but uh, planning to bring it back as soon as possible. Let's wait for this to finish. All right. And I'm going to go to samples tab and import the text and audio samples. And they are here. So in the folder here, there are two uh, scenes, chat sample and audio sample. These are very basic um, samples. There is not much really going on in the UI. This is supposedly our character. I'm gonna try to replace this with some um, you know, human characters and uh, add some ability for them to show the um, actions. But this is it right now. So um, what I'm going to do is set up takes two steps. First, I'm going to bring my API key in here and save it. So let's go back to uh, Neocortex, go to keys. I'm going to create an API key. Let's say test key. Uh, you will be able to see this once, so be careful and copy it, close it. I'll go back to Unity, paste it here and save it and close it. The second thing I will need is the ID of the project I have. So um, this was the uh, Unity project, I guess. So yeah, Sarge Engineer, such a nice weather, this one. Uh, here I can copy the ID of the project and I'm gonna paste it, it here on my Neocortex Smart Agent component. So uh, you communicate with the API through Neocortex Smart Agent component. There's also a audio uh, component, which I will show in the next uh, sample. So. We are pretty much set and I'm going to run the scene. In this basic UI, I will ask a few things to this character again. I'll just say hi, send it. And it responds to me. I'll again tell my line, uh, what is the room behind you? And that's the server room back there and action is called give key. So you can capture this and do something in your game according to this event being called. Um, this is pretty much this. And let's go to the uh, audio sample right now. I'm, I'm not going to save this. Again, I'm gonna click on my test character and paste the project ID. This time you will see audio receiver uh, component here too. Um, this helps me automatically capture uh, amplitude, like the loudness of the user's uh, voice and uh, process that and use it as data for transcribing what I said as a user and what uh, the agent replies in text and audio. So you can here pick your microphone uh, from a drop down. I'm using trust USB microphone here. Wait time is how much do you want to wait? until it's accepted as the user is done and sends the response. So I'm going to wait one second. So if there is one second silence, it is going to send the data. Otherwise you can continue speaking. An amplitude threshold is if you have some noise back there, you can increase this. This is, um, let's say lower percentile or bottom of the audio noise that you want to ignore uh, when recording. 
So I'm going to run this. And yeah, so hi buddy, what is your name? Hey there, I'm Sarge. Nice to meet you. All right. I hope it also captures the audio from the screen. I'll see when I finally see it. But yeah, um, so there is some room behind you. What is in there? It captured everything I said that was bad. Okay. That's the server room. Need the key? All right. So both samples work. Uh, you can see that. And the platform is very simple, uh, very easy to use. Uh, of course, I will need to add some descriptions for the um, nodes and how they are used, how they work together and some templates for how um, you can kickstart your projects for a game or a smart assistant easier. But this is pretty much uh, it now. And so um, I'm going to release this as is and I would really appreciate your feedback. So many things are missing and there might be many bugs in here. So it would be great if you could help me build this better and report me anything you catch and any feedback is much appreciated. Also, you can let people around you who would make use of such a tool uh, know uh, that this exists and it could help them get things done faster. So uh, thank you so much for watching and I'm really looking forward to hearing your feedback. Bye.